Hi, this is Paolo from the NB Academy and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make basses like the ones in the track Heavy and Dark by MC Basement, Pose and Similous Mix. So this is the original track. And this is the bass we're gonna be making. Now I know it's not exactly the same, but I think it's close enough to a point where I can teach you the principles behind creating sounds that have movements like this. But before you get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more. Showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So, with all that being said, let's get into the video. Alright, so here I have an initialized patch, and the first thing we're going to do is to load sine waves on each oscillator. Including the sub oscillator. We are playing a low E. And we're going to pitch up oscillator A and oscillator B, both three octaves up, one semitone higher, like this, and we're going to assign another fold to modulate the level of each oscillator. So we're going to map LFO number three into a level of both A and B, and we should have the sound. Now we need to change the envelope of the sound by changing the rate of the LFO to two bars, creating a shape like this for the initial hit, wow, and then rising like this. Cool. We can come back to this shape later if we need to fine tune it. Now let's tune oscillator A so it phase cancels with B like this. We need a movement like that. Let's also turn on the noise, bring the level down. And this is it inside of Serum. But now for the pulse processing, we're going to turn on a saturator. We're going to automate the drive like this. We're going to add a trash 2. And here in trash 2, we're going to use only one band. Set it on FOSS, Garage, Drive 2.2. And we're going to automate the drive like this. Next we have some simple reverb. And then we have some EQing, boosting the highs and some of the lows. Now, to create the movement, we can automate the amount of detuning of Serum, like this. And that's how we're gonna create that cool effect. Now one thing to learn about this sound is that depending on how much of a certain oscillator you fit into the distortion, you're going to get a different sound. So for example, here I'm gonna set a macro that controls the amplitude of oscillator one and two. And here I'm going to set another one for the amplitude of the sub. So I'm gonna bring this here, bring it all the way down. And then I'm going to experiment with, for example, bringing down oscillator one and two. That creates a different tone. Let's bring it a little bit a lower, which will uh, bring it higher because what this macro is doing is decreasing the amplitude of the oscillators. There you go. Or you can try to experiment with the sub. So with this, you can automate macros depending on how you want your sound to evolve with time. So for example, I want it to start lower and maybe go higher with time. So let's automate that movement in Ableton. So here, I want it to start lower. And then I want it to go higher. There you go. Let's bring the level of the reverb a little bit lower. There you go. And again, let's experiment with the amplitude of the sub. Here I'm going to try to make it lower as the sound progresses. There you go. 
And finally, we can maybe pitch this down at the last part, like this. And that's how you create sounds in this style. So that's gonna be it for the sound, also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any future videos. And if you wanna get access to a preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.